Okay, Frederick, so you just told me that uh, you have a whole year to practice and to advance your career even more. Uh, tell us now again, because we just uh, spoke for another video clip. Uh, your name, your, what you do and where do you come from, so then I will just uh, jump and ask some, several other questions. Sure, it's Frederick Lardinois and I write for Silicon Filter. It's a little editorial startup, a blog basically. I started nine months ago and before that I was writing for another little blog in the US called ReadWrite. Uh, how, you, how your silicon filter is now little in comparison you know, when you compare it to ReadWrite Web? Well, in terms of traffic, it's still little. Uh, you know, ReadWrite Web gets millions, I get uh, hundreds of thousands. But um, in, at least on the Technium Top 100, I'm 30 and they're 70, so uh, okay. got them beat there. But, but in terms of quality, that still uh, 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 provides you income and, and stuff like oh, that? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's, um, at this point, it's about the same income I make from the vlog that I did as a half-timer at Read Web. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Read Web, or I used to be a bigger fan uh, much more in the past. Maybe because you left, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not aware of that because I, I was not following the I, authors. I'm not vain enough. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, t tell me a little bit about the atmosphere in these big blocks, tech, tech blocks in the in the states. I mean, it's, how it looks like. It's it's interesting. Read Write Web is a little bit different from others, maybe because it's completely distributed. We're basically just working in a Skype chat room. There, there were people all across the U.S. Um, a couple of us in the same city, but we never met because we all were working in the same Skype chat room. Um, so it's it's very collegial most of the time, um, but you just never see each other. So you pretty much working on your own. And it's very similar on other sites as well, TechCrunch for example, writers, they have an office but most of the writers are not based out of that office. Um, they have some more issues I think with um, scheduling things and organizing things. There's, there's been a, quite a few times where two people would write the same story and they would post it within two minutes of each other. Mm -hmm. That uh, means that, that no editor? No, editorial no, policy? Uh, yeah, no, there's, there's editorial policies, but there's no real editors at any of these sites. GigaOM being the one exception. At GigaOM, everybody reads, counter reads other people's posts. Mm -hmm. Sites like TechCrunch and Rewrite Web Value speed mm -hmm. way more than maybe having a few typos in there or doing every, fact checking everything. So, um, so despite yes. that there are big, uh, big sites, I mean, generating a lot of traffic and many authors and all that stuff, they still can be called blogs in a way because, you know, sometimes you, you ask the question whether Mashable or TechCrunch is still a blog. I mean, what makes it a blog? So, well, I would say it still makes it a blog because at the end, it's really the authors doing their own writing with very little influence of editors. You know, I was. In two and a half years at Read Right Web, maybe I was assigned a story twice, you know, mm -hmm. where people said, hey, why don't you cover this? Most and of the time, we'll just make it up myself. Do, do each of the authors have, have its, its uh, area that covers more or less? Or? Yeah, but that kind of develops over time. It's, um, I ended up covering a lot of Google and Windows because that's what I was interested in. Others covered Facebook because that's what they liked and other social networks. I did photo sharing in the early days when it was still not as boring as it is today <laughs> and others were more interested in location for example. Uh -huh. Okay, so I mean, uh, what was the single, single, uh, uh, if you can point out, uh, thing that made Read that Web different from the others? I mean, and what makes your silicon filter now different from the from the others? Well, I think I'm trying to do the same thing we tried to do at Read Wide Web, and that was providing more analysis than other places, um, be more in depth, really being kind of the thinking man's tech blog. So I'm kind of trying to do something similar with Silicon Filter. Right now I'm doing a lot of fast news coverage too because that's what brings traffic to a blog. Right? You cannot just write in-depth pieces all the time. You need to write more than that. But that's what I think made Read Write Web very different from TechCrunch, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Frederick. I'm running out of memory on the, on the webcam, so <laughs> thanks again. Thank you. It was great meeting you. Yeah.